MS is a devastating disease of young people. Uh, it can cause numbness and tingling, thinking problems, chronic fatigue, uh, to even paralysis and trouble walking. At Johns Hopkins, we're tackling every aspect of MS from trying to understand what causes the disease to developing better diagnostic tools and ultimately better treatments. So here in the laboratory, the researchers are trying to identify what's gone wrong with the immune system and why it attacks the myelin coating around the nerves. Uh, the hope is that if we can find a more specific treatment that we can develop therapies that are more tol better tolerated for patients. We're fortunate that in the last 20 years we actually do have quite a few FDA approved treatments for the disease, but patients suffer side effects. These involve mostly injections, and so we're hoping that we can develop more uh, specific therapies and eventually cure the disease. In addition to that, there are a large number of patients who already have fixed disability from the disease, and we want to develop treatments that will actually repair the damage that's already been done rather than just stopping new attacks. And in this case, we've identified a type of cell in the brain that actually can be turned on to make new myelin and actually repair the tissue. We're very excited about this approach, and we think that it's actually a reality, and we'll try to move it into the clinic quickly. So on the clinical side, there still is a need for better diagnostic tools. Unfortunately, every year, uh, 25,000 people are newly diagnosed with the disease, and some of these people actually wait years before they get a definite diagnosis. So we think by having better imaging devices, MRI, and now an eye imaging tool called OCT, we can identify the disease earlier and get people on treatment before they end up disabled. And ultimately, uh, we're going to be testing the drugs that we identify in the laboratory in clinical trials and use these imaging devices to determine whether we're successfully preventing the damage to the brain and spinal cord.